Jason, we've experienced the highs of a penalty shoot our weekend and now we've experienced the lows, the crushing lows, but I mean what a team, what character, what desire shown from them lads in there, brilliant to even take the penalties and what a season it's been. Yeah, I think I've gone past disappointed, upset, you know, I've, I've shed tears in there and so has all the players, but listen, you know, we've earned the right to be in a playoff final today, you know, and, and, we, and, and that, I think the, the extra time just summed it up where we've gone one down and then and then straight away we've, we've come back and, and equalised. But listen, today is not about blame, today is about, you know, we have got a fantastic group of players, f tremendous support, you know, it was, they were outstanding again. And we go away with immense pride. Um, not just not just about today. Um, did we deserve to win it over 90 minutes? Probably didn't. We didn't, you know. But listen, it's a lottery as we found out last week, and, and, and we came out on top last week, and, and, and we've come short today. But but like you say, we've we needed to be there and support, you know, Charlie on, on the journey because you know they deserve to go up through. You know, they've been there thereabouts all season. I'm really pleased for Jamie, Andy and the players because they're a good bunch of lads but listen we'll come back stronger and we've got a real togetherness in that group and they're all disappointed and rightly so and I've said that you know you need to be disappointed in games like this because it's not often that it's when we're losing the playoffs but listen you know today is not about, about, about sadness it's about you know about what we've done for this football club and we've put Spennymoor Town on the national map. And when we went behind in extra time, did you see an equaliser coming at all? And it came so quickly, but does that kind of epitomise what the squad's all about, that desire to dig in? Because at times it looked like we, we weren't going to score today. Yeah, I think it was a cagey game. I think, like you say, we, we've, I don't think either team have created a great deal of chances. I think they've had a lot of set players and that. I think we've had a good chance where Glenn's back post header in the corner. Ryan's got through. But it was all about, it, it, it was always going to be a, a really tight affair because all <laughs> every game that we've played against them has... But listen, you know, it, it always comes down to, 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 to penalties, which is a lottery, and we found out last week. And then when, you, when they miss the first two, you, you seem to think your, your name's on it. But listen, you know, fair play to Charlie. Uh, but, I'm, you know, honestly, I, me, my heart's pounding how proud I am of the, of the, of the players in there. Listen, even the players who weren't playing, there was the togetherness amongst that group. And, and to hear James Curtis saying it's one of the best dressing rooms that he's ever been in, he's about 47, isn't he? You know what I mean? So it just sums up the the, um, the group. It, we'll, we'll, we'll be disappointed tonight, but we'll come back a lot stronger. And, and we need the support that we got today because they were they were immense. And it's the furthest the club's ever been. You've taken the club so far in your tenure. Would you look back at this season as one of your most memorable to Benny Moore? If we'd have won, that'd have been even more memorable. But no, I, I, yeah, I think it is. I mean, not not just about you know the, the, the final. I think the journey to this final. You know, it's been there's been a lot of people behind the scenes who've put a hell of amount of work in that. For, and, and the players in the past who've who've not been here today, but have played a big part. And, and, and that's what it's all about. You know, this the support they did. You know, there was there was people that I've seen 20 years ago, and there was young lads who've been here, and, and young lasses who who probably this is the first year supporting the club. So. Listen, we, it's not about me today, it's not about anybody else, it's about the Spinning World Football Club and, and like I said, I'm disappointed, I'm, I'm heartbroken. But you just got to look and take stock and look where we've come from and it's our second year in the league um, and we've pushed pushed a, a, a top quality side who, who were there, there about every season to penalties, you know. It was only last year that me and Tommy were watching the Harrogate Town play in the final and this year we've been a big part of it. So, you know, I need to thank my management team, I need to thank yourselves, the board of directors and the chairman, you know, who's backed me 100% and like I say, yes, disappointing day, but we'll come back bigger, stronger, hopefully next year.